Hi, how are you? Let's talk about something important. This is a Double Decker Supreme from Taco Bell. Taco Bell discontinued this menu item on September 12th, 2019. In my opinion, that was a sign of bad things to come. We all know what happened in 2020. Taco Bell has the ingredients to make this in the kitchen. They just don't want you to be happy. Today we're gonna make things right. We're gonna make a vegetarian Double Decker Supreme. Get ready for your life to change. Okay, here is everything you will need for these Double Decker tacos. We have soft taco shells. We have hard taco shells because this is a Double Decker taco. We have impossible beef. We're gonna use Cabot cheese because Cabot doesn't use animal rennet and it states it very clearly on the package, which is nice and I appreciate it. We're gonna use ranchero flavored refried beans. You could use any refried beans you like. I like ranchero flavored because it's a little spicy. It's a little delicious and they're vegan, which is great. We're gonna dice up this tomato. We've got some lettuce that we're gonna cut into strips and that is it. This is gonna be a quick recipe, so buckle up. Hi! Welcome to the stove top. Now that we've prepped our other ingredients, it's time to heat up our warm ingredients. We're gonna start with the impossible beef. This is the taco meat of the taco. And then we're gonna pour some oil, a little vegetable oil. It's heart healthy. So this, these are healthy. We're just gonna wait a second for that to get a little, a little bubbly. It's time to, to get the beef in there. The fake beef, the impossible beef. <laughs> they want me to peel the corner. I'm like, I don't have time for your games, you know? I got tacos to eat. Hot pan! Okay, and we're gonna add some spices to this. This is just a little mixture I whipped up. It's paprika, chili powder, oregano, garlic powder as well. Just to give our taco meat a little extra seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna let this do its thing for a second. And we're gonna warm up our beans. Who doesn't love popping open a fresh can of refried beans, huh? I know I do. This plant-based meat is browning up beautifully. All right, we're just checking on our beans. We've got the heat on like medium low. We're not trying to cook them. We're just trying to warm them up. This is looking good. So we are going to turn the heat off and pop the lid on there and let that sit for a second while our beans finish warming up. Let's check on them. Oh, they're looking good. Ooh, they hot. All right, I think that's pretty good. It's time to assemble some tacos. Time to assemble our tacos! I don't know if you noticed, but I did dress for the occasion. All right, let's do this. First things first, we need a taco shell. This one's a little folded, that's okay, I guess. We gotta go a different shell. <laughs> like shit. This shell has been canceled, we're done with that shell. Okay, first things first, we need, ooh, steamy beans. We need to do a thin layer of bean in here. The bean is going to be the glue. You'll see what I mean. Okay, next, next is the hard shell part of the double decker taco. These are super stuffers because we did not come to play. The best thing about making Taco Bell at home when they discontinue one of your favorite menu items is that you can load it up with as many ingredients as you want. You can make a much bigger taco than they would give you and that's freedom. I'm gonna go back in with the bean. You don't have to do this. You could go straight to taco meat or impossible meat. I'm gonna go back in with the bean just because I love beans. And also I feel like another little layer of bean in here, it, it's the glue. And then the taco meat is gonna move around a little less. And I, you know, maybe I'm making that up, but I just like beans. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of that. Next step, we're gonna put our impossible meat in there. It looks great. Next, we're gonna go cheese, because I'm hoping the cheese will get a little melty, being directly on top of the warm ingredients. 
gorgeous, stunning. I'm gonna go tomato next. And finally, the lettuce. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's looking pretty good. It's taco time. I'm gonna dress my homemade double-decker Taco Supreme with a little Diablo Taco Bell sauce. We're gonna get a little authenticity up in here. Let's show them, I say yes. And yeah, it's Diablo, cause I'm kinda crazy. <laughs> okay, it's time to take a bite. Let's just take a moment to marvel at this beauty. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I took a really big bite. I mean, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. We didn't do sour cream on ours. You could do sour cream at home if you want. It's really good. I mean, does it taste a little less trashy than Taco Bell? Yeah, but it is equally delicious. Not as trashy, equally delicious. Do the math. It's everything you could want. Bye.